<laughs> good day. Good day, good day. How the honk are ya? <laughs> you just gotta love the old, ah, uh, the old way we gotta do things till we get a new computer. Hey, welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, and boy, we got something exciting for you. Check this out. My uh, table's just full of stuff. Today, we are going to be looking at a brand that a lot of you might be um, um, familiar with. That's the word I'm trying to look for. <laughs> familiar with. Malibu International LTD. Yes. Now, Malibu International was a Hong Kong-based company, um, and they had, uh, well, I don't know, they, they, they've been going around for a lot, and, and a lot of their stuff was HO scale stuff is, uh, I guess they're still going, I really couldn't find any uh, more on it, um, you know, sometimes the Google just doesn't have all the answers, <laughs> but anyway, um, Motorworks was a series, and it was a household brand name for uh, Walmart in the 2000s. Now, most of these here that I've got, uh, we'll see as about 2007. They're just really cool little cars. Uh, they made quite a few. Now, this is uh, what I got for Land Rovers. We're going to see that they made a few other cars and things like that. Uh, but yeah, mainly Walmart, Nin uh, 2004, they had five cars in the series, 2005, a new series came along, the Lowriders, and, um, uh, added castings that were a bit bigger, three inch castings, uh, but other than that, in 2007, another line of cars, uh, mainly 187th scale came along that were made by High Speed called the Model Collections. And that's what we've got here, the Model Collections. And now uh, we're going to see that they did a couple of different um, um, scales. And uh, so you can see here that it was manufactured by High Speed for the Malibu International Toys, which is based out of San Leandro, Le Le Leandro, California. Leandro, San Leandro, never heard of it. But anyway, so there you go. Um, but uh, so a lot of the, uh, the castings, uh, the Malibu International logo was placed by high speed casting on the base. And, but we'll see that. But anyway, they also did, later on, they also did a Micron City um, uh, version too. But anyway, I, I'm not really sure where we're going to start off and where we're going to go here. <laughs> I just, I don't know. We uh, There's just a, a plethora of stuff here. You know, I guess we can start with the uh, smallest scale of them all, the 187th scale. Now this here is a Discovery, uh, and as you can see, they have a little Malibu on the bottom there, made in China, and they are attached to the base through this keyhole there. They got little rubber tires, uh, die cuts. Now the bottom is uh, plastic, very nicely detailed. You know, they got a lot of you know exhaust running around there, and uh, spare tire and stuff like that front end I mean uh, very nicely detailed accurate um, tire there but uh, gets around to the back here it's got uh, these were always uh, now like I say they, they kind of went after the HO model um, so they're kind of good goodly detailed and uh, no no uh, lens on the back of this one but um, yeah, you can see that they've got detailed door handles, and uh, you know they've got the uh, vent thing there on the on the front fender. Now the front has got uh, lens details up in there. That's pretty nice. Land Rover across the top. I mean, look at that. You even got the Land Rover badge in the in the uh, grill there. 
that is some super nice stuff. Now, we'll take a look at the top here. And you can see the interior, not bad at all. Uh, very nicely done. Um, tan interior. Got the uh, stadium seating in the old Discovery there. And uh, no jump seats in the back. My kids always were wanting to sit in the jump seats of mine. All right, there we go. So let's just start off here with uh, the uh, 187 scale. And so I've got a couple in the box. Now this is uh, a blue one, I believe. No, that's black like the last one. That's not blue. And so this is what the blacks look like. This is what they, you know, you would, uh, you know, pick them up at Walmart. And this is what they'd look like. Uh, just kind of plain generic and um, Disco 3 that's what it was and now here it is this one's got a metallic like uh, uh, Sticker on there that they stuck right over it Produced by high speeds. I don't know how many times I get flashy in the eyes with that But uh, there you go uh, 2005 here on that, but there you go, but you can see that they uh, just a nice little, nice little cars. They and they, and they you know, all of these uh, Malibu International LTDs, they kind of call for a high uh, premium price. Um, yeah, here's a green one of that. Uh, oh yeah, it says right there, Discovery Three. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm almost <laughs> eight plus, so I can really tell you what's going on here. But really a nice, they're really nice cars, I tell you. Look, that one had a tow hitch on it? Yeah, that one's got a tow hitch on it. Look at there. Well, we'll see that later. That one's got a tow hitch, right? The other one didn't have a tow hitch. Huh, interesting. Well, now this one, this one got one? I'm just learning all kinds of new stuff about this stuff. You know, I, I bought this stuff and I packed it away and I... I just now got it out and um, uh, on a display case. Here's why it has a tow hitch. Here's a silver one. This is uh, Land Rover Discovery 3 with Caravan. Kind of a matching little Caravan. That's why it's got that little tow hitch thing there. Uh, very nice model. Uh, you can see that they, the silver, you can really see the detailing in the, the paint that they do. Uh, painting the, the roof rails and stuff like that. Still got the uh, headlights in the front there, no tail light lenses. A little cool little camper things on there. A little caravan. Pretty nifty, pretty nifty. We'll take a look at this box just to kind of make sure that we're. See, now that's printed right on the box. Manufactured by High Speeds, distributed by. There you go. 2005. All right, I got a couple of those. It's uh, got a black one. Now that's a cool little green and white little caravan. Pretty neat. Oh, excuse the dust there. Yeah, I haven't been, I haven't had these out for a little while. But that's just like, like the black one we had. Pretty cool. Wow, I tell you, these guys, they uh, just don't do nothing the same, do they? <laughs> All right, and then the, we had a green one. Green one. So it was kind of neat that I had. Uh, you know, I just didn't have uh, the silver one in uh, a single pack, which is sad. I would have would have liked to have had that, but uh, I did be I whoa I did uh, I was able to get quite a few of these. So then, therefore, I uh, was able to uh, take it out of the package. So that's very very nice, very very nice little cars. All right, well, let's move on. This is. Uh, with the 187 scale. Sorry, this might be a long video. We're not even halfway through. So here is the Land Rover uh, Range Rover Sport with Caravan. And very nice little uh, vehicle. Uh, lens details in the front there. Nice chrome bar uh, grill there. Uh, no lens details in the back, but it is detailed. Uh, sunroof on it. Very nice, very nice. Let's see what kind of, uh, what do we got to say there? Now see that just says Malibu International. There you go. All right, well there it is. <laughs> Spoke too soon. All right, so that's the blue one. I've got a white one. 
And this is kind of, they're all kind of two-tone. That was a blue and white one. This one's kind of a blue with a tan in the middle. And uh, vehicles are pretty much the same, just different color. And, uh, oh, I got, uh, these are both the same. They're both the same. There you go. Well, there you go. All right, so there you go for the, uh, well, no, here. Then I've got, uh, the in a single pack, I've got an orange one here. And uh, this is the Sport, the Land Rover Range Rover Sport. So I've got an orange one. And uh, let's see. Yeah. There's that sticker there. And then I've got a silver one. So I've got almost every color of that. White, blue, orange, and silver. But once again, very nice details in the front there. Like I say, they don't have, uh, it's got just painted painted uh, details. Let's look at this orange one again. You can see that they got three colors on the back tail lights, although they, they have, you know, the glass or uh, plastic inserts on the front, which is kind of neat. All right, so let's go to the next size up. That would be the um, 164 scale. Now here's a little Freelander. Shout out to all you Freelander boys. Lee, how you doing? <laughs> no lens details on this one. Uh, just that it, it looks a little odd. I'm not sure exactly what is, I don't know if the tires are not big enough or what, but I mean, I love it. It's, it's really pretty cool. Got a hard cover on the uh, spare tire, rubber, rubber tires on this one. Now this is pretty basic bottom here. Uh, one river construction die cast on the on the body plastic otherwise but very uh oh there you go this might be lee's car it's a left a right hooker <laughs> there you go all right and i also have uh in 164 scale loose this uh discovery this is a really sharp discovery i always always like this discovery it was a nice one and you see the lens details in there land rover Little dot for the uh, Green Land Rover badge. Nice wheels, rubber wheels. Same basic design as the uh, Little Bugger, the 87 scale, but just a little bit bigger. So that's cool. But you can see the details. Nice black interior there. Wrap around windows there. Little details on the back. Now this one's got uh, lens details inserted there. So that, that's pretty cool. All right, so I've got those loose. Then I, I had them on the, in the box as well. It's kind of odd way they got that number back there. Oh, that's just the way it's folded in there. All right, so we'll just take a look. That's a Land Rover Discovery 3. Red one, same color. There we go, just take a look around the box. Well, that one was kind of missing the uh, big silver sticker there. All right, let's see about this Freelander. Freelander V6. There we go, pretty awesome, I like that. Pretty awesome. All right, sticking with 164 scale, we're gonna jump into the um, Land Rover Range Rover Sport. And this one is a black one here. And uh, very nicely detailed. Now this one's got uh, front lens inserts, Land Rover on the hood. This has got the smaller vent here because it's the Sport. And then it's got lens details in the back. Let's see if we can see that better in a different, uh, different color. Yeah. Not so bad. They don't really have much for writing on the back of that. Well, I guess it does say right under the window there, it does say Range Rover on there. Kind of hard to see, it's kind of crept right on there. But there's uh, lens details on that one. And uh, very nice white. Got the uh, small little vents there. Sharp, 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 sharp. All right, I got two of those. Yeah, two of those. That's awesome. Yep. Now these are called 2007 on this one. So that's good. So I got a, a couple white ones, a black one, and now this silver one. 
Very nice, very cool. Awesome, like it a lot. And then we have the, uh, just the regular Land Rover Range Rover. Now this one is uh, not as fancy as you noticed. Um, the, the distinct difference here is the uh, Sport has got lens details in the t and just the Range Rover does not. That's just plain. It does have three colors on the uh, rear tail lights and a Range Rover across the, uh, but uh, I, I, this is two different castings. It is two different castings, I guess. Yeah, you can tell by the, the rear there where the third third light is that it's, it's different. Yeah, huh, wow, it's pretty good. And then it's got the uh, shark gills on the uh, front fender there. Pretty nice, different set of wheels. Yep, there you go. Very, very nice, but it has the lens details in the in the front. No, it doesn't. Those are painted on there. Those are decals there. Huh, I wonder if this is an earlier one. Let's see if this is an earlier one and they just, no, 2007. Well, there you go, it's just a little bit different. Did not, did not know that, did not know that. There we go, I guess I got two of those and then I got it in an orange. That orange, we could maybe see a little bit better of the details on the front there. That's a nice shiny one. Very, very nice, very cool. All right, well, well oh, uh, let's, take a, let's take a look at these first. So they did make a 143rd scale as well. Towards the end there, uh, they did make some 143rd scales. Uh, pretty big. I was just kind of looking to see if we had a date or anything on there. 2007, yeah. So I got two of these. These are the same thing. Uh, silver. Now these uh, got a lot more details to them because they a uh, little bit bigger. So they can really get this. And this has got the sport with the uh, smaller air vent there. Nice looking truck there. Inserts on the back, little badge there on there. And then uh, here I've got the uh, black one. Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Well, there you go. That's the single packs. Now I also did pick up, uh, they had, uh, um, I don't know what they call these. What do they call these? It was a collection, they had uh, five cars on there. Now this one's got two Land Rovers on it. Uh, this is a 187th scale. So it's got the blue Discovery and then it has a black Range Rover on there. But uh, we'll take a look at the bottom here. You can see that they did quite a few uh, different varieties of this. Now I only collected uh, the ones that had the, the Land Rovers in it. And I think this one is the same, yep, same thing. So that was the 187 scale. Now they did do uh, a gift pack of the uh, 164th. Now these are different uh, from each other, as you can see already that they, they mixed these up a little bit, but it just had the uh, Range Rover in this one. And they tucked it all the way to the side there. You know, they could have put it out the top, you know, that would have been nice. <laughs> But anyway, there you go. That's pretty cool. Thanks for sticking around, you guys. Um, let's just take a look at the bottom. I think this kind of gives us an idea of, uh, yeah, 2007. But this has got all the cars. Like I say, these, uh, all these cars, the Corvette, the, the, the Porsche, I mean, the Shelby, all these. If you go on eBay, all these uh, pretty much call for a, a high, a high price on there. Yeah, look at that Ferrari. Let's take a look. This has got the Lambo right in the middle there. Yeah, and then uh, oh, the Range Rover's over here. What is this one? This is the Sport, I think. Isn't it? No, I don't think I don't. I don't. You know, this is just the regular Range Rover in this one. What is this one? 
No, this one's the sport. You can't tell. Let's look at the side. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> well, you can tell by the roof line. That one's got kind of a curved roof line towards the end. And then this one's more of a square roof line there. So there you go. But that's a multi-packs there in the 164 scale. So there you go. We had to do it. I finally dug these out. I've got a nice little display of these that I... Uh, these are on the bottom of uh, where I keep my Karabrama and uh, Oxford display. All kind of nice, just uh, have them hanging out there. But uh, yeah, do you guys have a lot of these? Uh, they weren't all that popular. I used to buy every one that I could find and at my local Walmart. Uh, and uh, yeah, they were here today and gone tomorrow. I don't, like I say, I don't know if they're producing anything uh yet today but uh discovery three there it is nice detailing though you look at the trim around the the back glass which is another different piece they don't have opening doors or anything like that but they were just so nicely detailed you know uh very very nice i i'm i'm glad i got these in my collection they're they're kind of a yeah, they're a real cool part of the collection. And, and just to have the wide variety of uh, cars and things like that is just kind of, really kind of cool. I like that, They're really kind of cool. And they got little trailers and, and stuff like that. So yeah, there you go. Let me know down below if you have these. Have you ever heard of Malibu Internationals? They are a really cool car company. Like I said, I don't think they're around much anymore. And uh, like I say, they, they call for a pretty good price, not just the Land Rovers, but all of them on eBay. So if you see them, pick them up. Boy, they're there. I don't know if they'll ever come back. Distributed through Walmart. All right, that's it. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up for this video. I know it's kind of a bit, a, a bit of a long one for you, but really cool stuff to look at. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe. We're growing as a channel and that is awesome. If I can get this to focus, that would be great. <laughs> All right, there you go. Make sure you share and uh, hey, make sure you come over to Facebook. Show me your collection of Malibu Internationals, huh? Facebook page is Roverland. Make sure you member up there. And Instagram, you can join me on Instagram at Roverland Channel. So thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate you guys and all your comments and, and things below. I really appreciate that. So uh, just make sure that uh, you tell your friends and we're going to grow this channel. We're going to branch off into wild new stuff. So yeah. All righty. Let's call it a video. All right. We'll take a look at the black one on the way out. Remember guys and gals, while you're motoring light along, if we could focus in on this one little bugger, that would be great. And we will see you next time. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.